Welcome y'all, let's talk about finding products for Amazon Online FBA Arbitrage. And I've been on Amazon since 2018. We did way over a million dollars in sales in the last few years, and it just keeps growing and growing each year. I just shared how we did over 800K in the last 12 months. Hopefully it hits a milli after these holiday seasons. We'll see what goes on, but I've been using a different business model. And now with this second store that I started, Midsummer, it's a brand new store. We've scaled it to anywhere from $500 a week to two to three grand a month. It's been amazing the last few months of just running this, building it up, understanding this business model. And if you already know Amazon, this business model and finding products, it makes it a lot simpler. So we've been doing that. I've been kind of documenting my journey. So you guys are in the middle of the journey. I'm sharing with you guys products, just everything to be able to scale this store. It's been a little side hustle that's been really, really fun. Uh, to just, just do so i'm just walking you guys through documenting this journey so let's talk about finding products i'll give you guys a way and then the softwares that i use so let's tap in here okay so this was my winning product for quite some time okay it was a three pack 44 count dixie plates and i've packaged a lot of these in three packs myself and i sold them all okay uh, i sourced it from target it's 469 on target per so this is just one pack. I need three packs that equals one unit that right now buy box is $24.74. So I use two softwares, Selleramp and Keepa. Selleramp is right here on the left. Keepa is right here. Okay, and there's a few things that I look at. And obviously I see BSR. That's a super healthy BSR, anything under 100K. If it's less than 200,000, I'd still take a, take a shot at it. But recently I've been doing 100K just to really test a lot of waters. 500 sales a month. Uh, the max cost of this product, if I'm selling it at 25.99, needs to be $13. So for 4.69, three piece, I actually sell it for 14.07. Let's say for the sale price it, and this, seller ramp, what's so cool about them is this is after all fees. Amazon FBA fee, the Amazon fee, everything. This is the profit that you get at the end and how much you get paid out after your sourcing costs, okay? Now, would it make sense for me to do this if I were selling this at $25.99, $2.30 a piece? Again, some of us might might have to pay tax, so let's just round it up to 15 bucks. $1.38 for $25.99. I was selling these units at $27.99. So I was making healthy margins of $3, 20% ROI, not too bad, but I'm not trying to play the game of a dollar profit, okay? Even at $24.79, I mean, 36 cents in profit, we ain't playing that game today, okay? That's, that's not the game we're playing. So this is why I let this go, and I'm just showing you guys how I found a product during a season that was good and now not even worth my time of purchasing more, sourcing it, scaling it up. There's a lot of people around this time not sure if it's just because it's the holidays, um, but actually you could actually see right here how many offers all throughout the year. Let me just put, blow this up. So down here, you can see how many offers were, okay, 20s, less than 10. Now it's like 30s up here. I joined around right here, going to August, September, I found this listing. So it was actually low offers right here when I found it. And it being low offers, look at how much pricing it is with the pink, the buy box. Buy box was winning for 25, 28, 34. When I saw those, I was like, okay, this might be good. And then I saw the last few months and I was like, okay, 25, there's some 26, 27s. So I was pricing it and selling these units at 27.99. I think I sold like 30 or 40 units of these. I sold a lot of these, okay? And you made the profit. Now the listing is just like, it's a price war. You go, you scroll down and now you can see all the, listings on it, all the people, different sellers on this listing, the person that has the buy box right now, 115 in stock, and it's just a price war, 25.74 with a profit of 32 cents if they source it for that. I'm sure they're a wholesaler. So, I mean, they it does say wholesale entrepreneur. So yeah, that's the reason why this was a winning, but now it's not, and I just liquidated it, meaning I played the price, price war with them. I did it, I think I like, 25.99 and I was able to win by box so a dollar profit just to get rid of the unit because I don't want them to keep going down and then I'll just move on to the next product this is why you need to keep finding products by the way because you get plays like this now let me show you guys how I find winning products best way is through other sellers seller ramp is great because it breaks this down it gives you all 
their whole <laughs> inventory and we just go down. When I go down, I look at a few things, BSR, how much it costs to source it, but also I look at how much the buy box is. Usually if the buy box, especially from someone that's wholesale, I probably wouldn't find a lot of products if I'm not in the wholesale game. If I'm in the online arbitrage game, I'd look for more people that are doing that. I just wanted to show you guys how to find it. I'll probably give this example and then let's look at other ones. Let's just keep going down. <clears throat> Again, I feel like these are all wholesale because he's an, a wholesale entrepreneur, but I just want to show you guys the main three things I, I look at. Let me actually see somebody that's a little bit higher that's pricing it and because they might be buying it from Target as well or an online arbitrager. Let's go to this person, Lulu. Okay, uh, interesting. They're selling some interesting stuff. Two-pack biscotti to f source for 49 cents. I'm not even sure about that. Let me just bump this up. And this is really the sourcing game. So I just go in. This might actually look promising. Let's click into this. Okay, Dixie Plates, two pack. So what I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the Amazon listing right here. Open Amazon product page, and then I'm gonna open up the Google search page. So the moment you hit this, these, it's gonna hit straight to a Google page, and then boom, you're in. Now let me look at these. What are we even looking at? That's that's even the question. So I'm gonna just look at the main people, uh, the main people, the main companies. So Amazon, I'm looking at it right now. Buy box is at 22.19. The lowest somebody's going on these for FBA is 19.49. Wow. Well, buy box right now is 22.19. So these are the things I look at. I'm just kind of sharing with you guys my process. I go in, definitely not sourcing this from Walmart. 12 bucks, definitely not sourcing this. And again, you gotta look at it because these might be two different. No, they're the same. Two different listings, a one single pack, one pack. And again, we're looking at 55 plates, eight and a half inches, 21.5 centimeters. Okay, this is a good one, 359 per pack of a 55 count. So how much is that are we sourcing it? So for 359, let's say it's at 19.49 a pop. Actually, this might not actually be a bad cop, so I think we found a really good one. <laughs> Usually, you don't find them this quick, by the way. So 359 would be 718. And that's, worst case scenario, it was going at the lowest, right here, 1949, okay? I'm just gonna put this up. 1949 sale price, 718, okay, 718, but you gotta still pay tax, so let's round up to eight. Worst case scenario, you get a buck off the lowest, which we're still not trying to play that game, but this is still a product that you can get into. Last thing I would check is how much it's been uh, for the last year. You look at buy box, the pink, the pink, the pink. It's been pretty stable. I see one drop right here, which is probably 18 bucks, but it's been a stable like 20 bucks all throughout the year. Yeah, that's not bad. Or I'm sorry, these are the last few months. Let me just go here and hit, uh, this was the last three months. This is still pretty beautiful that it's stable. So you could see that even through the holidays of last year, it was still up there. So it's a stable one. So this would actually be a good, if you guys want, 13K BSR, 1,400 units, a dollar a pop if you were to sell it at the lowest. Let's say you're sourcing it and you get it for eight bucks right here. How much is it? Oh, they got nothing at um, six ninety nine for ninety ninety. See, you'll see stuff with this ninety plates. It's not the fifty five plates. You can't be doing that. It has to be the fifty five, which is uh, Target. I mean, this is still good to just test. If you guys want to just find get get a winning product to just test to see if Amazon FBA is real, this would be good. Obviously, there's a lot of sellers on it, so you can you could see. But what's great is now you can use this method and you can start sourcing from all these people, start looking for products on all these people that are on this exact listing. Now, would I move on this? 21 bucks, that's not bad. Right now, buy box is what, 22.19? That's that's green, you see how it turned green right here? 40% ROI, $3 profit if you can get it at the 22.19 buy box. Who's on buy box right now? It's the seller. Yeah, it's, I mean, he's... He's not the lowest and he's definitely not close to the highest. He's or he's up there. Now we can even go to the seller and then we can look at what they're selling. Y'all see that? And then you can find more products. 
So what I do, I place an order, two pack. By the way, this is a two pack, just so you guys know. Wrap it up and get this out, ship to Amazon FBA and make sales, especially during the holiday. People buying stuff like this has a very low BSR. So it's good on my scale. If you were to play the low ball game, worst case scenario, we already saw the keeper chart. Worst case, you sell it for the lowest, you you still won't, you'll at least break even. That's all I gotta say. You'll break even on these units, okay? Even if you get a whole bunch and you still have to pay for shipping or you get free shipping, whatever that is, you're still gonna break even minimum with this. So it's pretty healthy to me. It's something I try out. All right, y'all, I just wanted to show you guys how I'd look. I know it kind of seems like, wow, that seems simple, but that's really it. You're sourcing products pretty much every day to scale this business. That's it. The more products you find, the more you're going to be able to scale, the more cash, the more capital, the more profit, the more you can go back and invest into more uh, inventory. That's the game of Amazon Online Arbitrage FBA. If you guys enjoy this and want to see the full step-by-step -step on how we do this, every step of the way, how I really go in, add it, and to be able to uh, package it and making sure it's packaged and shipped out, it's a very simple process. Click this video. Check this out. It's how to do online arbitrage step-by-step, -step, quick 16-minute video on this whole process. I just showed you guys how to source. Hope you all enjoyed and go ahead and use this product or find products from the other sellers. This is one way of how I source and find products. Y'all be blessed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.